share a little bit about this program that we've uh, been putting together over the last uh, couple of weeks. And uh, we know it has a lot, a long ways to go, but what I've seen over the last few months uh, with Irene, uh, I know that Vermonters have been through a great deal and have sacrificed a lot. And I've, as I've traveled the state, I've seen uh, the Vermont spirit, the Yankee ingenuity, the common sense that has prevailed in the face of uh, adverse conditions, difficult uh, conditions. And we felt that what better way to, uh, to honor and provide some relief for Vermonters uh, hard hit by Irene than by um, highlighting the August 28th date. So uh, we've, uh, we've put together a bill that has uh, many different provisions in there. Again, you'll be hearing about that uh, here today. Um, but and it will be a, a sales tax holiday and, and some other uh, provisions. Um, and I recognize that there's many details to work out, and I want to thank uh, uh, Senator uh, Kitchell for being here, Senator Cummings, who will be receiving uh, the bill uh, first uh, for her uh, uh, willingness to take a look at it and try and work out some of the details that we might encounter. So I have great faith in the committees, and uh, I think that we'll, uh, we'll have something successful as we move through the process. Uh, with that, I think we're moving on to Senator Campbell. Yeah, you're right next to you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you all for coming. And uh, actually, I want to thank the Lieutenant Governor and, and also uh, my, the Senators uh, uh, Cummings and Kitchell, uh, Senator Mazza, Senator Karras, and I believe Senator Mullins should be around here somewhere. And um, uh, we ha also, uh, we have, uh, these are the people from the Senate uh, Rules Committee. Uh, also, Senator Miller to my left here, who is our uh, in our leadership team and many of you know that uh, we had the property Irene property task force uh, put together in the fall to look at items that uh, that we might be facing uh, coming up to this legislative session and making recommendations to us one of the recommendations that they made was the uh, possibility of having a sales tax holiday of source in order to help people uh, provide them with the opportunity to purchase certain materials building materials, uh, weatherization type materials, and uh, to be able to, to buy those without having uh, to um, uh, pay the, the tax because of, they've already been hit financially. And this was, they've already suffered a financial impact. And this, in this way, we were able to give them a bit of a break. And so uh, we discussed this, and um, again, uh, our Senate Finance headed by Senator Cummings has agreed to look at the bill and to uh, make some recommendations back to us and then hopefully it will be over to uh, Senator Kitchell's committee to uh, deal with it in appropriations. But we want to, uh, again, I think what the Lieutenant Governor had brought out, he had been uh, on the field as well as I uh, throughout the, uh, the, uh, the state and we saw the devastation was so incredibly massive and one of the hardest hit groups were the po people in mobile homes and uh, so Part of, the, uh, of this bill will deal with sales tax on mobile homes for those people uh, that purchase them or have to purchase them if their mobile home had been destroyed. Uh, additionally, it will deal with the property tax transfer. So um, at this point, I would like to introduce Gordon Winters of ACE, the place for your, all your hardware needs. <laughs> we can hire you for a commercial. All right. Someday, right? <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. Tax sale holidays have been very popular with all our customers. Uh, over, the, over the years, they have gained in popularity, and I think uh, there's no better way than how that supports our local businesses. I think coupling with this weatherization week is an excellent idea. Weatherization is one of the most important things you can do while building a, building a new home or remodeling an older one. I think that when people go through the weatherization process, they find out at the, at the end how important that was. Uh, I recently, one of our businesses is in a uh, older uh, 1960s building and the, the newest one we opened in Milton is a ground up store that we went through all the weatherization process, uh, new uh, uh, energy efficient equipment and the uh, air sealing and insulation. At the, at the end of this year, we, we just uh, completed our fiscal year uh, 2011, and the heating cost that we saved was over 60% on the different buildings, same footprint. So 
It's an amazing uh, thing that people can do. It's uh, a great way to save money. The payback is very quick. And what a better way to support this than on the anniversary of Irene. We look forward to helping uh, local Vermonters weatherization, weatherize their homes. Thank you. Uh, Jim? Yeah. Jim, Jim and Dan. Jim and Dan Fecko. Yeah. <laughs> Let him handle it. Yeah. Hang me out to dry. Um, my name is Jim Fecto from Fecto Homes. Um, as you can imagine, as a result of Irene and even the, the flooding we had in central Vermont uh, earlier in the year, we got to meet a lot of people in 2011 that weren't planning on buying a new house. Um, FEMA helped out with a lot of money. A lot of these folks didn't have much more than their home, and so they weren't coming in with a huge budget. And to factor in um, furniture and appliances and clothing and all the other things, it was very tight budget-wise. So to throw you know, a tax in, um, and it, it just it may, makes the budget very tough to, to work with. So we're here to, um, I guess, applaud and, and support um, the bill that will let you know, the victims of um, Irene uh, keep some money and, and uh, put their lives back together. Thank you. Now we'll have Sean Gilpin from, uh, had the pleasure of working with Sean uh, with our mobile home deconstruction process. So John is with the uh, CVOEO. Hi there, I'm uh, with the CVOEO mobile home project and as Phil said, um, we've, we've been working with Phil Scott and a lot of organizations um, across the state to respond. Um, to the unprecedented amount of damage that uh, occurred in mobile home parks and for mobile home residents throughout the state. Um, I've been uh, impressed by the outpouring and the, and the assistance that we've received from citizens and groups uh, throughout Vermont. Uh, it's very heartening as well to see that there's continued attention on the issue. Um, I know that a lot of folks who uh, lost their homes, lost all their possessions, are currently displaced and any assistance that they can get especially come spring to move back into a home ownership situation in one of the parks will be um, a great benefit to them. So thank you very much. Kevin, Senator Mullen. I just want to uh, thank uh, Lieutenant Governor Scott and President uh, Campbell for their excellent leadership. This is a great bipartisan effort. It shows what we can do working together and uh, anything that we can do to help put people's lives back in order, uh, we should be doing and so again, um, these guys have really uh, done an excellent job um, making sure that everybody's working together on the same team and uh, it's just good to see this uh, bill finally introduced. Uh, Senator Kitchell, would you like to say anything? Um, it's a pleasure to be here today. It seems like this is just another piece of how we as the legislature and um, the lieutenant governor and the governor have um, uh, looked at how we can respond to the impacts of uh, Irene. As a matter of fact, um, the finance and appropriations, we've just, um, we'll be taking up legislation on a special license plate, which will help raise funds um, for Irene. Um, and we also have some other parts of our budget adjustments. So I think this is an important piece of understanding how we as government can really assist our communities, our businesses, and the individuals who really were so hard hit. And the one thing that is um, so striking, and we'll be taking this up, and that's some of the disproportionality of the damage and the towns whose um, who's the financial impact is gonna be so great. So this, there'll be some other pieces uh, that we will be deliberating as the session goes on, and, and this is just one of them. So it's a, a pleasure and applaud uh, the leadership for bringing this forward. Take sure. Questions. Maybe I can uh, should explain the bill now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we We've been all through it. We can do this backwards. You guys had us all shocked there. Um, what it does, there's uh, a few provisions in the bill. One is a tax holiday, uh, as we've had in the past, and that will be on the date of uh, hurricane, uh, anniversary date of Hurricane Irene, or uh, Tropical Storm Irene, August 28th. We will also have a tax, uh, sales tax-free holiday for weatherization products uh, for that week as well. There will also be a reimbursement of uh, any uh, of those uh, that have bought mobile homes uh, since Irene, due to Irene, uh, sales tax and property tax transfer. 
and we recognize that there's many uh, bills that have, are floating around. There's some in the House uh, uh, that uh, have been introduced, and we, we hope that uh, those will dovetail with what we have uh, as well. Um, I, and again, I want to thank uh, Senator Cummings, uh, Senator Doyle, and Senator Polina. We've, uh, I've represented Washington County for 10 years. We were particularly hard hit in this area with uh, 70 homes being uh, uh, more than uh, um, devastated in the, the Westons Trailer Park, uh, 70 out of 80 homes in that, uh, that park alone. So um, I guess we're maybe uh, uh, very sensitive to uh, the mobile home provision uh, from this area. Um, same with us, yeah. Yeah. You, with Windsor County, we had we had the uh, same thing with a, uh, a mobile home park in Woodstock, Vermont, which was uh, just totally destroyed. And you know, one of the things that that um, we I see I think sometimes forget is how fortunate we've been that we only had a very small loss of life. And I know that that's um, any loss of life is is one too many. However, this could have been really uh, more devastating had it happened at night uh, and people hadn't had any type of warning. Uh, to look at the mobile home parks and how quickly they were destroyed, um, you just you just thank God that that people actually got out uh, alive, and because there were many families in there, and and one of the other things I'd like to to express about this, this sales tax holiday, we, you know sometimes people will um, look at the legislature and say, well why are you having giving away state money for something, uh, having these holidays, but you know really look at what we're doing here, you know we're making sure we're enabling people to not only help rebuild after this, after this devastating uh, event, but also to help further the weatherization effort. Uh, right now, we're all trying to get off of the fossil fuels. We're trying to do as much as we can uh, to in renewable areas, but one of the most important and the easiest ways for us to save energy is through weatherization. And that's what this is also uh, directed toward. And I, I really look to the fact that we have um, the leadership here and the heads, the chairs of uh, our uh, appropriations and finance committee to really uh, cement the fact that the importance of this bill. So uh, again, from the legislative standpoint, I really do uh, 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 hope that this uh, effort will go forward and will have success. And again, the weatherization piece is very important. Um, I think as a state, we, uh, we have seen what we're going to do. We're, we're being uh, uh, faced with uh, what we do with the Waterbury Complex and other facilities throughout the state our infrastructure, and how we can do things better. And it gives us the opportunity to uh, t tighten up and, and do things uh, differently. And we all face that uh, personally as well when we have, uh, we're hit by uh, uh, circumstances. It gives us the opportunity to, to look at things in a new uh, direction. How do we do things more efficiently? And as uh, Gordy had said with his own building, he saved a, sub a substantial amount of money by uh, doing the proper weatherization uh, uh, tools and, and uh, uh, products for his building alone. So uh, I see also Don Maris here from Small Dog Electronics, as well as the retailers, uh, the grocers, and uh, many partners that, uh, that are uh, looking forward uh, to us uh, uh, providing some relief. Uh, with that, uh, we'll be happy to take any. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know how I missed him. Yeah. <laughs> so much for your uh, being kept in the will. Yeah, your free peanuts every day. Uh, no, I just, uh, you know, if there's one item that, one issue that comes about, uh, I get a lot of phone calls on, is when are you going to do another tax-free holiday? Uh, it's, it's, you know, the, re the economy is recovering slowly, but what an opportunity to get out there and get people encouraged to buy again. Uh, it's six percent or seven percent, but it makes a huge difference. The last time we had it, there was a, uh, just an outpouring of success throughout the state, and the retailers need that little boost uh, just to, you know, just to get the economy back rolling again. One other thing I want to say is that uh, just a few weeks ago, this legislature was scrambling how to come up with twenty-seven million dollars for the fuel assistance program, and you know that program is going to continue to decline unless we do something on weatherization. There's no better way to cut that ceiling on the fuel assistance is to uh, put weatherization. That's the only way you're going to get ahead of it. We just can't continue to pour money into uh, fuel assistance without having some end results of how we do it better. Thank you very much. Is there anybody else that uh, I've missed that would like to speak? Don, would you like to say anything?
I have money. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get him to. You need some personal. I, I, I can. I, I can give some personal. Thank you. Uh, we've been involved in every one of the uh, tax-free uh, holidays uh, over the years, and I think this one, um, especially in the August time frame, uh, would be especially effective in the back-to-school uh, period. So many Vermonters not only lost their homes, but lost not only their computer systems, but all of their data thousands of pictures and uh, accumulated data. And while we've been working with our customers to try to restore this, uh, in many cases, uh, this additional boost to their ability to replace their computer systems that were damaged in the flood is gonna be really helpful. Um, we've tracked our sales from sales tax holidays. And one of the major objections to sales tax holidays is it's just a shift in in sales, you shift it from when there is sales tax to when there isn't sales tax. And we found that while there is a shift, that we found a 30 to 40 percent increase in overall sales in the three month period surrounding uh, sales tax holiday. So where do these sales come from? Uh, for our business, which sells uh, high priced electronics, it comes from people that would normally go to online sources such as Amazon or go over to neighboring New Hampshire uh, to save the couple hundred dollars of tax that they would pay, pay on a computer system, they now come to our stores or to our uh, competitor stores to buy the equipment on the sales tax holiday. So uh, we're finding also that we have a, a bit of a halo effect from sales tax holidays. Not only retailers are uh, uh, stimulated by it, but uh, our store in South Burlington, next door neighbors, uh, restaurants seem to be doing a bang up business uh, on that sales tax holiday that they don't normally do. So it, it stimulates the overall economy and certainly stimulates the retail sector that was also very hard hit by the uh, floods. Thank you. So questions? at this point, we'll take any questions. Any of the typically uh, hard uh, questions, we'll go to Senator, Senator Campbell. I'll take the Senator easy Senator. ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's Senator, Senator really Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we, we, had, we had joint fiscal do a, um, uh, take a look at it, and I believe we're at about a million five. It's, it's a very difficult number to pinpoint, and it's because of what Don had just mentioned. You know, if you take the, the numbers uh, of uh, what was accumulated that day, what was bought, and then, and then do the math and say 6%, it could be one number. But what it doesn't take into account is those that were buying outside the borders, buying online, that, or not buying at all. So it's a difficult number to, to establish. However, that's what Senator um, Cummings, and when it goes through the committee, <laughs> will be looking, taking a very close, <laughs> hard look at it. And, and again, I, I think what you have to do is you have to look at a balancing um, act and find out, you know, sometimes it, it, it looks like, okay, you're making this expenditure here, but you don't realize what kind of, um, uh, what you're going to get is, as a result of that. And if we have more sales, if we have sales that we really don't even calculate, such as what Don was mentioning about the surrounding businesses, and one of the other issues I think, Don, that why the businesses do well afterwards also is they develop a relationship with a Vermont business, especially if I'm going to go to, to a small dog to buy my computer, I'm not going to then go over to New Hampshire or go online for maybe accessories or uh, to have help uh, assistance with the with using it. I've developed a great relationship with them, and I'm going to stick with them. So I think it, I think there's it's really hard to put a a, a real cost uh, figure on this, but uh, uh, I think that I know that our finance committee they've done it in the past, and they'll do it, do it again. They'll do a uh, their due diligence, and we'll move on. So where's the money from? Bill? Senator Kitchell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Senator Kitchell's the one. She's, she's going to give us that. Actually, yeah. I think Ann could answer. Yeah, yeah Ann, come on, come up and answer. What, what, yeah. We're, yeah. Yeah. what the impact is, obviously, is on the revenue side, and that's right. why finance is looking at what will be the impact relative to projected revenues and how it can be accommodated uh, within that process. So it's very much uh, on the tax side to begin with, and that's going to be uh, Senator Cummings, and I think she can respond to that um, in terms of uh, how you look at those foregone revenues. We forego a lot of revenues in this state in the form of tax credits. Uh, we have a tax expenditure budget that we're working through. We look at every one of them very closely. Um, I'll be working very closely with Senator Kitchell because this is a tight budget year. Um, 
you know, and, and those, those ex the money we don't collect will have to come out of the budget. So it will be uh, some very serious discussions. We are, we think, about to pass the license plate bill, which will be raising some money. And, uh, you know, we don't know how much, but that's some extra money that's coming in. And maybe that is not going in the general fund. It is going to the I Irene Disaster Relief Fund. But we're not sure what that will be spent for. So um, we've got guidelines to do for that one, too. So I think we're still in a learning process. We, we're learning from the people of Vermont what, where the holes are. You know, FEMA's starting to move out. Um, we're starting to see where the holes are, and our intention is to do the best we can to fill those holes in.